Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Lavinia, and I post beauty videos regarding makeup, skincare, acne, acne positivity, and just all things beauty every week. So if that's something you're interested in, I would love for you to join my channel by hitting the big red subscribe button. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do this makeup look that I have on right now. It's a very full coverage look, but it's still very lightweight on the skin, but will last all day long. And I'm gonna show you guys how I went from this to take my very acne prone, sensitive, dry skin to this makeup look right here. Now just remember that makeup is fun. You can love your skin just as much with or without makeup so if you want to flaunt your acne and show off your strawberry freckle stay do it but if you want to do some makeup you can also do that so just remember to love your skin a little bit every single day but if you want to see this makeup look right here um let's get right on into it because there's a lot of tips and tricks i'm about to show you guys so let's get into it oh you tell me stories you took me in and the second you leave, I call you right back to check for monsters in my sheets. All right, so let's get right on into this. I'm going to start with doing some skin prep. So I'm going to go in with this mist from Ryle. This is the Miracle Clear Oil Control Mist. It's just like a skincare product, but it's also a mist. It's just going to help kind of unclog some of those pores. A lot of hormonal acne going on right now and then i'm gonna go in with a moisturizer i'm gonna keep it very simple today we're gonna be using the um, tatcha the water cream not going in with a lot of skincare products but prepping the skin still so that it's nice and hydrated and plump and ready for this makeup that is really the biggest part with skincare prep so just Bring that moisturizer all over the face. Now, of course, I want to apply some sunscreen to make sure the skin is protected from the sun. I'm going to go ahead and apply the Banish, um, the Defender. This is one of the best sunscreens ever, SPF 50, high protection, and it's hot today. It's like 31 degrees outside. And makeup applies really nicely on top of this as well. She just took like two extra pumps there. And it's a fully mineral sunscreen, but this one into the skin like a dream and it's also really hydrating so makeup goes really nice on top definitely one of my favorite products for sure and you guys can use lab 5 for five dollars off um over orders over 50 dollars at banish on banish's website really amazing sunscreen i've gone through way too many of those doesn't irritate my sensitive skin and doesn't clog my acne prone skin either okay let's get into some priming so i want this makeup to last. I'm actually going to go in with the Jane Iredale Smooth um, Affair Mattifying Face Primer. I really liked this last time I used it, so we're going to use it again. It just looked really nice on the skin and prepped my skin so nicely for makeup, so I have been really enjoying it for those super hot days. Now, as I said in the title, we're going to be going for more full coverage makeup today, but still keeping stuff light and by that I mean like lightweight I don't want anything heavy so I'm gonna be going in with the it cosmetics CC cream this is their brand new product actually it's their um, SPF 50 plus UVA and UVB broad spectrum it's a color correcting full coverage cream so a CC cream it's gonna be color correcting as well um, as opposed to a BB cream so CC creams tend to be a little more full coverage and this is one of the most full coverage CC creams I have come across so I'm gonna pump some out on my sponge here and because I got a little tan it's like my perfect shade now and we're just gonna go ahead and pat this in with my sponge do we see the coverage we are getting right there this stuff is insane and it looks like a cream on the face so it looks pretty natural of course makeup is still gonna look like makeup I will always say that and of course I'm in front of ring lights right now but if I was just in regular light and not on camera like in real life this stuff does look like makeup on the skin but it's not gonna look as heavy as a foundation would like this full coverage and as you can see it is definitely a very full coverage on the skin. So I'm going to go ahead and blend this out, blend this down my neck too. We want it all to be blended in, blended into the hairline. We 
do not want to miss a spot. You just go in with one layer of that, but you definitely can, you know, take a bit more of the product if you want. And kind of spot conceal with it if you want a bit of that extra coverage. Okay, so that is all done. I am going to set down the face. I'm going to be using this powder from Faux Color Cosmetics. And I'm going to use a brush with this one. I find a brush has worked better for me than a sponge with this powder. And I'm going to like brush it kind of on, like a fluffing motion. Then with a little bit of powder on the sponge, just very lightly go on top. I find this works best with this powder. It's a good powder, but it's a little bit tricky to work with sometimes because at one time I tried it just with a sponge and it like is very white, so it did not blend out nicely on the eyelids it doesn't really matter so i can go fully on the eyelids to make sure those are really set down i'm gonna bronze up the face um i'm gonna use my charlotte tilbury i've just been obsessed with this i know this is a super expensive product but it just looks so pretty on the skin i would describe it as like a cream slash powder product i just really really like this stuff and it looks so nice on. Just bronzes the skin so beautifully. Take it down the neck a little bit too. All right, uh, Makeup Revolution did release some new liquid blushes. I have a bunch of them, but I I wanted to try the shade Dolly Rose today. They just sent these to me recently and I haven't really tried them out yet. So let's try this shade. It's like a corally, I think, ooh, I might have applied too much. I don't think these are as pigmented as like Rare Beauty, so hopefully um, I didn't go overboard with them, but let's go ahead and blend that out with the sponge. Oh yeah, these diffuse a lot easier than the Rare Beauty ones, because the Rare Beauty ones are like so pigmented. So let me go in with some more. It's a pretty color though. Maybe I'll take a brush to blend it out, more of like a stippling brush. Ooh. Yeah, I really like this color. It's really pretty. Very nice. And then as like a final set, I'm gonna go in with my Charlotte Tilbury powder. I'm just so obsessed with it because it looks so nice on textured skin. And I'm gonna really fluff in with my brush here and kind of set all over face with this one rather than concentrate it like we did with the last powder okay i need to do my brows i'm gonna use my sister cosmetics little brow kit here and just kind of carve the brows out a little bit like i always say i already have pretty like dark brows so i don't want to like make them that much darker but i just try to fix up the shape a little bit. I like having more structured brows when I do more glam looks and then when I do lighter makeup I like doing more of that natural feathery brow. I'm gonna take a little spoolie here and blend the powder throughout the brows. Some Merit Brow Gel. Nothing new. You guys already know the drill with this. Just go ahead and set down those brows so they do not move. I've been using this palette from Ico. It's like such a pretty neutrals palette. Really nice. And I'm going to take these two light shades right here and just fluff these into my crease. And then I'm going to dip into the bit of the darker shade right here and fluff this on the outer corner, but also taking it to the middle of my eye and then up into the crease diffuse it all together and then winging out as well then I'm going to take this darkest shade right here and concentrate it on the very outer corners 
really simple on the eye look today, but still creating something a little smoky to define my eyes nicely. And then I'm gonna take that like medium deep shade we used and take this on the lower lash line to connect it to the top. I want a light lower lash line for this look, nothing too heavy, still something. So as my face makeup has kind of been sitting now, I'm going to take a little powder brush with some of that loose powder and I'm gonna press it right under my eyes to really set that corner down, my smile lines, and also between my brows because that's where I tend to crease up the most, but I wanted to let that makeup sit for a second before I went ahead and did that. So I'm just gonna take the brush and really just make sure this is all diffused together. I'm obsessed with how wing liner looks, so I'm just using my NYX liquid liner here. This has become one of my favorites. My trick is always raise your eyebrows and then connect this line. And then, and really wing that out. I'm gonna take a bit of glitter. This is from Sister Cosmetics in the shade Frozen Heart. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of this glitter and add it to the inner corner, but like on the bottom. Like so, just to add a bit of like sparkle to the eyes, light them up a little bit and kind of drag this down on the lower lash line to add a little sparkle to the eyes. It's really gonna just make them pop. Mascara, you guys already know, nothing new here. I feel like I shouldn't even explain this. X Fiber Mascara from L'Oreal. I feel like nothing will top this for me. Like the day I stop using this mascara, I feel like uh, is the day I've like gone crazy because this is like, the best of the best in my opinion. For lips, I want to go in with a pink lip look today, which I don't usually go for, but I did it the other day and I like became obsessed. So I'm gonna grab my ColourPop big box of lippy pencils. This is like the best thing ever. I just keep it on my vanity and I've just been using it because it literally has every color of lip liner. And I'm gonna take the shade Starship and line the lips. I'm not gonna do any overlining with this. And then from my big box of lippy sticks box right here, I'm gonna take the lippy stick in the shade O Snap. It's a matte lippy stick from ColourPop. I'm gonna add this right on top. It's just a nice pink color, but like very pale and almost blue tone. So. It doesn't make your teeth look yellow, which some pink lipsticks can do. This one's more cool tone, so brighten up your teeth a little bit. And then to finish that off, I'm going to take the highly rated um, Diamond Lip Gloss from Milani. This is one of my favorites. And pop a little bit of that on to juice up the lips. Of course, we want this makeup to last. One of my favorites has been the e.l.f. Stay All Night Setting Spray lately. I'm going to take this. douse the face in that you want to be like proper wet with that and then I'm going to take the side of the sponge that I had the powder on and press this down into the skin this will really melt all the makeup together and make it last all night all right guys so here is the finished makeup look we have full coverage I feel very full glam I feel very pretty right now but it still feels really light on the skin I've really been liking this product so I wanted to show you guys in action this is what the skin looks like. Let me turn off the ring light so you guys can see how it looks in normal light. So here is the skin with the makeup. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed and don't forget to tell yourself something you love about your skin today. And just remember that makeup looks like makeup on the skin. If you have acne and texture, it will look different than maybe someone with smoother skin. And it will also look different than what you see online. So just keep that in mind when doing your makeup. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and also make sure to turn on my post notifications so you get notified every single time I upload a new video. 
And yeah, guys, that's it for this video. Make sure to go check out my Instagram and TikTok at Lavinia Rosanda um, for more daily content. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, you tell me stories. You tuck me in. And the second you leave, I call you right back to check for monsters in my sheets.